everyone welcome back to my channel she plans she budgets and in today's video I'll be sharing with you some happy mail I received in the mail and let's get started okay starting with um, this I actually physically went into the store this is the happy planner disc the larger size um, that came in the silver metal color I did um, spray paint these white just because I want to change the gold disc out from my current planner into the bigger white one. And because I couldn't find the white ones in the large size anywhere, I've checked Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Happy Planner website itself, Etsy, and I couldn't find them anywhere um, in the size and also Amazon. So I purchased the silver ones and just spray painted them myself. I know it doesn't look perfect. And again, this was from Michaels. Okay, so next I purchased some budgeting stickers from Erica Life Vlogs. And as I mentioned in a previous video, I was waiting for um, my new stickers to come in the mail because I included the blue expense trackers that I ran out of during my weekly check-in videos. So I've been using my um, budgeted un orange stickers, but um, that's okay since I haven't been needing to use my unbudgeted stickers, um, which is, you know, good thing, knock on wood. Hopefully that continues. So, but now I purchased one sheet of the blue so that I can get back to using the blue. And I will resume that in my weekly check-in number four i think okay this is the freebie that i got really cute and then i got the february budget kit in the monthly weekly check-in two washies um one thin washi paycheck two paycheck one February budget, debt tracker, sinking funds, and the transaction log. All right. So moving on to my bigger happy mail, which was from Glam Girl Planners. And I purchased a new cover for my happy planner. And I absolutely love it. I got the Happy Planner cover set that comes with the front and back. The back is just like a marble color or a marble design. And then the front is, voila. Isn't she gorgeous? The girl, the planner cover, the design, everything. It is a girl boss theme, it says, Hustle, girl, girl code, boss up, that not that kind of girl, empowered women, girl boss. And I just love this. I love the curly hair. I love the glasses. I love the girl boss coffee mug. I love the Apple computer, the purse, the sunglasses, the pink, the um, outfit, the shoes, and the marble background. This is just so beautiful to me. And I absolutely love it. So thank you so much, Glam Girl Planners. And this is probably my third planner cover I purchased from her. And I'm sure this won't be the last. All right. So I'm going to pop that into my um, Happy Planner, change that out, and also the rings. And then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I decided to keep the gold rings on because once I tried to put the um, spray painted white metal rings on that's in a bigger size, I think because the spray paint may have been a little uneven, so it actually caused some difficulty with um, turning the pages as well, which is why I switched out of the Erin Condren binder. So I'm actually gonna go back to Michael's and buy the smaller version disc, which is in, in this size, which is for the classic planner, which is what this is basically. 
um, and just use those. And they're also um, plastic as well. So at least I won't have to worry about the louder clicking noise. All right, so this is what the cover looks like on. It is super cute. Sorry, I just hit the camera. Um, it's super cute and I absolutely love it. So this is an Erin Condren Life Planner in the vertical layout and I use it for uh, memory planning and budgeting. So I'm going to show you how I use this planner. All right. So this is the Life Planner vertical layout. Sorry, this is the vellum page. Life Planner vertical layout. She plans, she budgets. And this is the quote page from Erin Condren that says, success means having the courage to become the person you believe you were meant to be. That is a lovely quote. All right, this is the year at a glance view from 2019 um, all the way down to December 2020. I just have highlighted or circled in green my paydays each month for 2020. And then highlighted is May and October of 2020, which will be my um, triple pay months. This page I intend on um, keeping track of how much I pay towards debt each month. So like from January through December, I plan on ordering some um, month script stickers. I may either buy them or I might just hand write it. I haven't decided yet. But once I do decide, I'm going to just keep track of how much I put towards debt on a monthly basis here. All right, so for the first page is the um, notes page that comes with the life planner. And I'm using that as my monthly budget sheet or page. So this is where I'll keep track of my monthly budget as a whole. And then on the next page, this is where I've added about three note pages, I believe. So when I purchased my binder, I purchased the life planner binder, and then I ordered additional note pages. So that's where these note pages came from. And on the second page, I'm going to keep track of my weekly check-in. And I decided to break it into two sheets just so I didn't have to condense my categories because I really didn't want to have to combine any of these. I wanted to keep them all separate. So I decided to make my weekly check-in two pages. So this is page one that shows the first three weeks. And for January, I will have five weeks. So the other two are on the back. Next is my first paycheck page. Behind that will be paycheck number two. After paycheck number two will be my sinking funds page as well as the transaction log for the sinking funds. And following that will be my debt tracker page along with my debt payoff plan for the next, um, so we'll have the current month and then the two months following. All right, here's another quote page from Erin Condren that says, passion and purpose gives you progress, January 2020. And this is where the um, productivity page begins and dashboard, if you will. So this is just like a little dot grid page. Um, right now, my plan is to use this as a monthly highlight page, just to highlight like three things that was really fun or exciting in a month like for example I'll probably mark down bringing in the New Year's with my friends because we did some club hopping and we hung out all night into the New Year and I just had a really really good time second would be going to see bad boys because again that movie is awesome I talked a little bit about it no spoilers but I did mention it in a previous video so if you haven't seen bad boys 3 go ahead and check it out and then the third highlight will be just something else that may occur throughout this month since I do have, or we do have, um, what, like two weeks left is today is the 18th. So we have about a good two weeks remaining in the month. 
on the dash page i'm going to use it as intended intended i'm going to keep track of birthdays so i have one birthday that passed which was on the 16th for my stepfather for monthly goals um the first one was to pay off my great lakes loan number seven and for anyone that's seen my pay debt with me videos know that i have achieved this goal my great lakes loan number seven is out of here and my second goal is to compile all of my tax documents and schedule an appointment with my tax preparer. Um, this box will either be an extension of my monthly goals if I run out of space or if I think of something else to use, I'll use it here. And for this section, I have no idea at this time. Next is my monthly budget um, overview, calendar overview. So this is where I just keep track of all of my monthly expenses on a daily basis, including the days where I don't spend any money, including um, no bills. This is my um, expense tracker legend. Um, and this is how I like to use them. This was made when I did use my unbudgeted expenses on a regular basis, but since since November of 2019, I have stopped using them all together. But as you can see, I do have them listed here because I ran out of the um, blue stickers. So I started using the orange one just to get rid of them because I have about two sheets remaining. But once I'm done using them for the month of January, I'm going to go back to the blue stickers in February. And that's what this legend is for. On the side here, I wrote down some to-dos, which was renew my passport, print my tax documents, get my paid in full letters from Great Lakes, plan a vacation, and pay off Great Lakes loan number seven. Next page begins my memory planning and my life planner section of this Erin Condren, Erin Condren binder. So this was my um, plan with me week number one. So if you have not seen this video, feel free to check that out. And I believe um, my vid plan with me number two is also posted, which is right here. So feel free to check that out if you haven't seen it already. And then that just continues on until we hit the next month, which will be for February. So one, two more weeks for um, January and then the first note page right here on the left will begin February's monthly budget and then the cycle will repeat so this will be February's weekly check-in page one and two on the back this will be um, paycheck number one paycheck number two on the back sinking funds and then February debt tracker on the back the next quote page dashboard again and then the February monthly calendar okay so in the back I keep some happy planner notes pages as well as line grid paper and then in front of that I keep the Erin Condren stickers that comes with the planner all four pages and lastly the um, folder this was a little bit more difficult to hole punch but um, it does stay in the planner I just keep in the folder the next set of budget stickers I intend to use so this these are the February budget stickers from Erica Life Vlogs that I plan to use next month and I keep those back here I'll also keep back here any um, unpaid bills um, that I get a paper statement for. I'll keep those back here if I haven't paid them yet. And I also keep back here my um, monthly bill tracker. Okay, so that is how I use my planner for budgeting and memory planning. That is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye.